Hello everyone, welcome back to the studio. My name is Leah if you don't know me and I'm a collage artist. Last week I was in Spain in Malaga, which is the home to Pablo Picasso. It was so beautiful and I was so inspired. And coming back to the studio, I was like, maybe we could try to do something kind of Pablo Picasso-y. I went to this show and it was called The Echo of Pablo Picasso. And the whole idea was that people were taking influence from his work and making really interesting like collage works and paintings and photography even. I thought it was just really, really cool. And I thought that would be a great place to start. It was also really cool seeing a show about uh, like the echo of Picasso because in university I actually picked the piece Girl Before a Mirror and I did a media installation on that requiring nine screens and lots of like visual and audio effects and so I was very interested to see what other people were going to do. I have so many faces collected and I feel like this is a great way to try to do something really interesting. I also was around really interesting uh, landscapes and that sort of thing, so I wonder if doing like a bunch of people in a piece could be really cool, or if I'm just going to stick to portraits. Um, anyways, that's the inspiration that I'm going off of. You know me that <laughs> whenever I start something, you know, sometimes it trails off into something new. So I just wanted to give that a shot and I wanted to bring you guys with me. So let's get into it. So Pablo Picasso is obviously extremely well known, but I think that the thing that always surprises me is anywhere I travel to, there's always some sort of Picasso piece in their museum or collection. I'm just always so shocked, right? And so going to Malaga was the place that I saw a lot of pieces that I had never even heard of or seen, like a lot of his work um, that was like earlier or in periods that like were kind of more unknown. And obviously I've seen very large series like the Blue Time, uh, period ones where he just only <laughs> used blue and basically painted the same thing over and over again. I saw that at the Tate Modern in London, UK uh, just a couple of years back. And now it's interesting to see like how much more he did and it's like he did sculpture and painting and just really anything. Like he got into plaster in newspaper I saw a bunch of sculptures with. I also really love his color palette as well. You know, it's always changing, but there's always like this brightness to it for the most part. To me, it's just very inspiring because I think that he probably woke up and made a piece every single day of his life for the most part. Looking at his stuff, it's crazy because he's making so much, right? I think that I just could never be able to do that, but then I think of the constraints of our society and realize that maybe I could do that if I didn't have to like put a very expensive roof over my head, for example. Okay, so at first glance, I just grabbed a couple things. So I have these kind of like funny ads, pretty sure this is the same person. Um, and I've always wanted to do something kind of you know, cubist with them or, you know, abstract and that sort of thing. Um, and then I pulled in some other things like this guy I think would be good. Just even taking like this glasses part as an eye, for example. Um, and this one's even cool, like just the shape and stuff as a base potentially. These overall don't have the right angle though. I need something that has a very strong side profile. Um, and I'm not really seeing that right now. So I want to bring in some uh, newer magazine pieces. So this is L from like, I think 2018, I guess. So, um, and I think that like this one has a lot of like fashion images. And I wonder if this mixed with like the black and white, um, like male versus female, maybe could be really cool. I was kind of looking at doing eras potentially and like how people look different from like each era. Um, and like the old and the new, but I couldn't really find what I was looking for. So just want to take a look at this. Oh my God, Fang, get out of here, please. <laughs> oh, hi friends. Were you aware that I have a shop where I sell my art prints? It's called flanzella.com. It's linked in the description if you want to go check it out. I'd really love it if you did. And all the support is really, really helpful for my career. I really appreciate it. And let's get back to the video. Okay. 
And as expected, I found some really cool angles. I think like I'm just gonna go through these and cut people's face pieces off um, and make a whole bunch of different pieces that we, that we can work with. I pulled these because I thought, I, I don't like that they're famous people, but the blue skin and red skin is kind of interesting, right? A lot of cool angles here, so let's give it a whirl. As you guys probably know with me and vintage magazines, I love going back in time and seeing how other people lived. Um, to me, it's like when you're traveling, it's always a little bit of a bummer that you can't travel in time to a certain place, you know? Like I would love to go to Malaga in his peak of his uh, like fame and be able to see like his hometown and how it absorbs like who he is or, or rejected him, right? Because he was very controversial there. I, th I think it's pretty cool to like think about that and what that would look like. And then even just this pile already, like that looks pretty cool. Like there's some really cool shapes going on. So I'm really excited to get started and see what we can do with these. Okay, so I like the beginning of this. I like how there's bright colors, and then we have black and white, and this woman's eyes blue, so it kind of ties in all of that. But it's definitely missing something. So I'm gonna put this up here, and we're gonna try to do another one. something like this. I really like this as a start because the hair lines up perfectly. I think there's also a lot of potential here and even having this piece, it's kind of interesting, right? Okay, hello, it's a new day. I am just taking a look at all of these and it was so much fun making all of them. I really like the two big ones. I think these would go really nicely together. The other ones are pretty small, right? They're almost like exercises, like these ones. And I wonder if these would go well in like my junk journal because they're, yeah, they'll fit in it. And I haven't put some pages in there in a very long time.
I had such a great time making all of these works. It was so much fun and I could definitely picture me getting a bin and kind of like doing this as a side project. I felt like it was a good like cognitive challenge. I guess the one thing is maybe I didn't have enough pieces. I didn't feel like I could really make like 100% of what I was trying to do. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm like, maybe I need to like make a huge bin of these things and then maybe mix in some vintage pieces next time. But I definitely want to give this a try again. It's my first time doing anything like this, so I'm not surprised that it turned out looking a little bit like less like my style, but I definitely think if I work towards it that I could make this into part of my style in some way. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a happy holiday and I will see you in the new year. Bye!